dream about the race. The, the, the testing, the qualifying, it's a part of the race, but the most important is obviously to be uh, uh, in, into turn one for the, for the first lap and then to fight for the race. Why is this idea to do in the 500? Well, you know, it's something I always uh, thought about, but uh, I asked actually in the 91 to my uh, team manager, who was uh, Cesare Fiorio, when I was driving for Ferrari. He said, uh, big no uh, for many reasons uh, at the time I was just I had to be focused for, for the for Formula 1 and uh, I was also uh, uh, not able to be free more than one month because uh, Indianapolis is really a full month so from this day I always thought about uh, Indianapolis but I never imagined to have the opportunity after Formula 1 to be uh, at the start of the race bit about drive on a speedway. It's really different that you... Eddie! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Good, and you? I, was, I wanted to come and see you, but I felt so bad in the month that I could not do it. <laughs> Thank you. Are you, you good? Know, my Very coach, fit. Thank you. My co chief uh, was on well, your car when you won. Owen. Owen. Do you understand what he says? Yes. It's very particular English. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he's really calm and now. Uh, yes. It's very nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, was yeah. Yeah. Me too. Ah. You will. Sorry. Thank you, Eddie. We were we were we raced the same team. Yeah. He was yeah, fast yeah. too. Yeah. I yeah. That's a I remember long time when you ago. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, the, the, the way to drive on the oval obviously is extremely different than what I used to, uh, to do and um, nobody can understand uh, when I say nobody I'm talking about my friends uh, drivers uh, who uh, before to be here they always say ah are you sure you want to do it uh, it's, uh, it's not good it's blah blah it's blah blah I feel a lot of um, a lot of fun and a lot of difficulty a difficult uh, situation to uh, to be uh, uh, at the maximum of the car because the way the car is set uh, is, is, is not a problem in, in the corner. In the corner is where you feel more comfortable because uh, it's, it's what the driver uh, used to do, control what the car is doing in the corner. But it's all this, the, 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 the side of the setup that makes you in, in trouble which is uh, the corner weight of the car, uh, the um, um, difference in, uh, in terms of um, uh, wheelbase in between one side to the other one, so the car is a little bit twist on the straight and uh, when you go straight, actually you feel the car a little bit uh, like a, a crab, you know, going like that. So that usually, when you feel the car doing that, you need to make a car control, and you, you cannot do it because you're on the straight. So you don't know what really is happening, you know. And uh, when you're in a car, in a corner, the car is almost uh, straight. There is a lot of g-force, uh, not easy. And then the pit entry, uh, the first time you touch the brakes, uh, then the car is moving a lot because you have. Cold uh, brakes, and on the meantime, the car is pulling on one side. You know, so you need to be very, very gentle with the with the pressure on the pedal, not to uh, over over stress the car. You know, and uh, all these little things makes uh, the life not easy. They expect to be fast. Somebody tell us you don't have to move a lot. To win. <laughs> no, uh, well, the secret is. Um, to make the car turn shortly, to have the, right, the, the position of the front wheel straight as quick as possible because um, the, uh, the brakes you have into the corner is coming from uh, the wind, I mean from the, from the drag. So if you stay for a long time with a, with a, a steer, uh, then you slow down the car too much. That is uh, the secret. Uh, and actually, my uh, driving style on this respect is really uh, useful because I don't like the uh, what they call the pushing car. I don't like the understeer. So 
I have a very good turning and the car is all, almost in a straight at the apex and uh, that's helped me a lot for the for the speed, uh, the, uh, the, the cornering uh, speed. How does the experience here on this track compare to the simulator? So the simulator was extremely useful in terms of uh, uh, rhythmic, you know, in between uh, one, two, then uh, the straight, the bumps, everything is ex is so uh, perfect. You, know? you, uh, you can change uh, the, the, the setup. And actually I start uh, the, the first day with uh, the setup of the simulator. But the big difference is uh, you don't feel the speed on the simulator. You, you feel the, 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 the sequence, you know, of uh, one, two, then three, four, but you don't feel this, uh, this speed. The first lap I did, I was really shocked because uh, you say uh, never stop, you know, it's just pushing, 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 and then you, you need to keep the throttle down, and then there is a corner. So there is a new break. <laughs> so, um, Have you done any full tank runs here? Yeah, I did. Uh, I did everything. Uh, we work a lot uh, at the beginning of the, the days to uh, to set the engine because uh, we are struggling with the engine. Our engine performance is not just the problem. It's the, the way uh, when we shift the gears go in. We, we lose too much speed in between one gear to the other one. So uh, it's too long. I, yeah, I mean the the, the, the cut is too long. Uh, we. We, uh, we are working to improve the, 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 time, the timing in between one gear to the, to the other one. But that is a part of the problem. So, this is not a Lotus problem, that's just uh, the, the ratios that have been chosen for you, maybe? Or? No, the ratio um, is um, uh, based on what the engine um, uh, people want. But the shifting is based on of the control in between. The, the gearbox and the, and the engine, you know, and that is a, it's a mapping uh, problem, and uh, it's on the mapping we have to work very hard as well. You know. It's not only the top uh, numbers we can see on the dyno. Do we have a different engine for the race? Yeah, now I have what a different mean? engine. What uh, is the difference? Uh, I don't know what is inside, but um, definitely it's. Uh, for, uh, for my for sure, because with Simona we were uh, almost all the week uh, doing uh, the same speed, and she went something like uh, four uh, miles faster, and she she had uh, the uh, the new engine for qualifying. Okay. And I keep the same one for, for the race because anyway it was only one ready. John, all these years away from racing, what made you want to come back and, and come to this race to the Indy 500? You know, sometimes to my friends they say it's a middle life crisis. <laughs> so you, you you change wife or you do something, you know. <laughs> and uh, in my in my case, I uh, I decided to to come back uh, to do something uh, big because I uh, I have a, a passion in uh, inside of me for for motorsport to never stop. You know, when I decide to uh, well, when I stopped Formula One, it was not a decision I uh, I, I did because uh, I say okay. I, it's enough. It's time to, to stop. It was a consequence of uh, uh, not finding a good place in a good team. And because I was doing 201 Grand Prix, I said, OK, I quit. But I, I didn't like it. So uh, I stopped. Then I did immediately the DTM with Mercedes, who was uh, it was successful. But on the, meantime, on the meantime, a great series, uh, very um, American American way, you know, open for the public, good show, really nice. But I was missing something, you know. I was probably missing the speed. I was missing the uh, the top level um, drivers like I can found here. But I never planned to be here. And then when I joined Lotus, uh, they uh, asked me if I wanted to do a race in America. And they said, uh, Indianapolis. And they said, yeah, yeah, why not? And everything started like that. So Even when you were in Formula One, did you have a wish to race in the Indy 500 at all? Yeah, once. Uh, when I was driving for Ferrari, that was in the 91. Alfa Romeo was um, uh, doing something in America. And I asked if it was possible to be here. And they said, no, 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 no. no. Oh, impossible. <laughs> so I say, okay. So what's it like being the oldest guy in the field?
field, you're getting advice from people old enough to be your kids. Yeah, exactly. I have advice from uh, uh, young drivers, but I have also advice uh, from drivers like uh, the, the, the top drivers here who had uh, uh, win. Uh, before I was talking uh, with Eddie Chiva, the, the crew chief I have on my car was his crew chief when he won the, the 500, you know, so... What is his name? Uh, Owen. So, you know, um, I'm listening everybody to take the, the, the best as possible uh, out of it, but uh, I need now to be uh, at, the at the start of the race and to have my, my only experience.